What's going on, everybody? It's the Nidian, and this is episode six of my Brink playthrough, mission three on the security side. And I'm using another subscriber suggestion. This game, I am using the Ustin assault rifle. Probably said that wrong. I even said rifle wrong. But uh, and the Tampa SMG, which I've used in some uh, previous games. But I'm not sure if I played around with the Ustin or however the hell you pronounce that damn thing. Um, very much at all. So I play with it some more, and then uh, I got a challenge up from Crank HQ to play with the Bold Action Assault Rifle, which another su subscriber wanted me to use anyways. So I'm gonna try to get that done today. I'm, the challenge is for me to use the Bold Action Sniper Rifle, and the only way I can kill people is by using the Slide Tackle. So. We're going to see how that's going to go. I don't uh, expect to complete it, to be completely honest. But we're going to give it a try anyways, and it should make for some fun, exciting gameplay. And if I do get it, uh, hey, I'll be amazed at my own self, to be completely honest. Because I've had some issues with that bold action sniper rifle with the very few games that I've played it. But this, uh, this is one of the better missions, in my opinion. This mission is a lot of fun. And uh, what you have to do here, obviously, is blow the gate. And then you have to get your repair bot down a series of corridors and then repair a crane and then take the repair bot down a series more corridors and then have it uh, cut open the, the barricade and then steal the intel and then upload the intel. And here's a, a major choke point if you don't jump right on it. So you have them coming from all different directions. If you can get on this uh, machine gun and stop them from coming. It's a good, good thing. Uh, I didn't switch to Engineer right away, which was kind of a mistake. I probably could have sped this mission up just a little bit if I switched back to Engineer. But I tried to stay Assault and then let the bots do some work. But apparently, uh, that's impossible. And I failed here because I tried to fit my fat ass underneath those stairs, which I couldn't do. And, yeah, which you can't really... Um, Notice that I, that's what I was trying to do because the game is sped up a little bit. I think it ended up being like a 19-minute mission. And YouTube hasn't allowed me the benefits of making it over a 15-minute video. And hence, I've also been had some suggestions on doing um, some live comms with this. The problem with that, again, boils down to the 15-minute videos. Um, once I can make longer than 15-minute videos, I can start doing some more live comms because... Unfortunately, like Battlefield games, um, obviously this game, and some other stuff, they run a little bit over 15 minutes. So if I did a live com and then tried to edit it down, even all the audio would be all screwed up, and I'd have to delete the audio and do a regular commentary anyway. So that's what the issue is with that, guys. Uh, as soon as I can do that, I don't even know what the requirements are. If anybody knows what the requirements are, let me know. I don't know if it's like a 50 video thing, a 100 video thing, uh, subscriber based. I have no idea, but um, hopefully sooner than later I'll be allowed to uh, do that. And again, once you get past that MG nest, you're not home free. This is another major choke point. Uh, it can be very difficult getting your bot up or your yeah your repair bot up around the corner here, and it gets. It's one of those things. It's a give and take. Like, either you're going to get it right around the corner and be like, well, that wasn't that bad, or you're going to get choked up pretty damn good. And in this game, I get choked up pretty good here, and then we'll get into another choke point right at the end when it's uh, it's the bear. And luckily, they give you enough time to really get your bearings together. And, like, I've always, you know, been kind of complaining about a little bit is the bots, just the bot stupidity. And it seemed like every single person or every single bot on the opposite team in this game was a fucking medic. Um, I couldn't keep these guys down for the life of me. And every single one of them was resing each other, resing each other, resing each other, resing each other. But here we got it. The repair bot's there, so what you got to do is go up here and, and fix the cranes. Now, once I've gotten into the crane nest, I don't think I've ever been shot out of it. Once you're in, you're pretty well good. I mean, your spawn point is right behind this crane nest. So if you're people or your bots can't even guard you uh, you may have to do some clearing out but I've never had to once I've gotten into this thing like I've said boom it's done it's repaired and then and then this becomes a choke point right after this because what that does is kind of push their spawn point back a little bit and they have an as you can see there's an MG nest on your side right here behind the crane and there's an MC MG nest 
on their side behind the crane. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. Six bots. Can't even pick this guy off. So I go finish him off on my own. Get some extra EXP by buffing these guys. One suggestion I have here is I didn't set down a turret, which I should have done here in a minute. I'll show you. You can set down a turret. It'll kind of deter them a little bit. Not much. But you see your bot move up there. They're kind of ignoring the bot. Right here is where you should probably set your turret up. Uh, because they spawn down just over that ledge through the little uh, hallway. And when they pop up, you can kind of stop them. I think one of my bots actually does put a turret up. And they focus on that quite a bit. And I almost got wasted here by a shotgun. But uh, that will stop them. You'll see me repair them for a little bit of EXP, extra EXP. But once you get this bot rolling... Just keep in front of it, keep behind it, use it as cover. Try to get it as far as possible right here because this becomes major choke issue. For one, there's a, um, what the hell? Man, I can't think today. For one, there's a, um, what the hell, man? I can't even think. There's a, a little objective right there, one of the control points, one of the uh, supply command posts. Jesus. Supply command post is right there, so obviously, as you all know, the bots fight over these supply command posts like they're the main objective in this game. So you'll have your bots running in, you'll have their bots running in, just constantly fighting over that stupid supply command post, and it just it becomes a nightmare. And right here, I'm running to the secondary objective. It's a little uh, stairway that you can repair, and that allows you to get up and have access straight to that hallway where I just died and get up there faster and it kind of also gives a distracts the bots a little bit because they'll come over and repair and you're going to see something funny and this and the exact proof of why the bots are just idiots in this game but as you can see it gives me a direct route um there is a little i think there's a spawn point up there for the other side i'm not exactly sure i see a lot of bots up there this time around which I haven't really seen before. So I don't know if there's a spawn point up there or not. Or if they were just hanging out up there for shits and giggles. Which could be, you know, very well what they were doing. It seems weird. You're going to see something where my bots on my team were just running around for shits and giggles. And here is an excellent place for a turret. Now I don't get a lot of EXP from this turret. Uh, turrets never really have given me a, a whole lot of EXP. They don't seem to lock on right. Uh, again, I haven't played around with the Gatling turret yet, so I'm not really sure how that thing works, but we're going to get into it. But right there, that turret can see all this up above here and because they, they spawn right up above there. Bots are going to be everywhere here when you're trying to get down here. And uh, you see Icicle123. Sorry about that. I sent you a message back. Uh, the, the servers were acting funky as hell. And we just weren't able to play. And I don't have Black Ops anymore. I returned that damn game and let it rest in peace. Hopefully, maybe somebody else picked it up and enjoys it. But, anyways, back to the gameplay. Right here, I think I was going to set up a turret. Quickly said, fuck that. Got out of dodge. Because what this allows to it is you have, um, there's a barricade that they repair and that, that you can blow up to allow you easier access in there. Now, like a couple other missions I said before, I have never, ever been able to get through there. It's like they focus on that corridor more than anything else. So that's why you keep seeing me coming up around here, coming up around this way over and over and over again to try to get this bot repaired. Because getting through that other place over there is a friggin' nightmare. And as you can see there too, I just ignored... The bots, I could have stopped repairing and shot at them, but then I wouldn't have got much repair off because they probably would have picked me off anyways. So I was just trying to get the, as much repair uh, durability back as I could possibly could for my next run back. You also maybe wonder why I didn't destroy that turret. Because <clears throat> what that does is it makes them unable... The, the bots are, like I said, stupid. They won't put up another turret and just destroy their old turret. They'll actually go, you know, lose their lives to repair that one turret. They just won't do it. So that's why I just left it hanging. I didn't want to dick with it and have them set up another turret in a, even in a better spot. And I think I suicide. I don't know what happened there. I might have suicide and killed myself. But it wouldn't allow them to set the turret up in a better spot. And then I would have had to deal with that turret again. And probably off in a, in a, it wouldn't have been so good. 
And I just wish one of my bots would have just ran up within two inches of that bot and just had him move the extra feet. And I'm just getting a little bit of EXP here, nothing major. And this guy tries to jump on the uh, MG nest and spawn trap us a little bit. And I take him out. So, again, I'm just running this exact same route over and over and over again, trying to wait for the uh, op opposition to get distracted. I set my turret up again. Here, it doesn't last nearly as long as it did last time. It just gets tore up. And, you know, once it is, you, once you shoot at something, see, here it is, man. Res, res, res. I take another one down, another one gets res. I take another one down, they get res again. And I think here I got a little trick played on me. The, they had a operative on their side of the fence and he, he uh, they ended up getting me because I wasn't expecting it to be honest and uh, I'm just trying to work my way up the bot only has like an inch to go I don't even think it actually has to move anymore I think it just has to get repaired to open up and do its little thing with the with the welder so I, I just ignore everybody as much as possible get it up get killed once again I think in here you can see I was gonna shoot at these guys and I decided just to wait it out, which was obvious a mistake. But I was going to shoot at them guys, and or not shoot at them, and just let them be, you know, ignore me, ignore me, and and just be it in that. One thing you'll see here: there's only one guy here now. But in the in a couple minutes, you're going to see that there's like three or four of my teammates sitting there defending that stupid stairway. So it can it helps you, but it also hinders you because they worry about all this little dumb shit. And just make you do the uh, complete the objective over and over again, and I'm just getting shit on completely over and over and over again. And it is what it is. At least I finally have some medics that aren't 100 meters away and are never going to make it to me anyways. And I get shit on again. I don't know what was hitting me there. Uh, it's just one of those things. There's there's some deaths in this game where you just die and you're like, well, what the fuck was that? I mean, these bots got some aim on them all of a sudden. Um, one thing, I've been playing on normal difficulty, and I don't know, have any of you guys uh, been playing on hard difficulty at all or even tried it? I think I'm going to start trying it to see exactly how hard it is. I'm guessing it's going to be ridiculous, simply because I have a feeling their bots are going to become monsters, and your bots are going to stay just as dumb as they are from beforehand. And that's right right here is where I get tricked. I wasn't I wasn't ready for it. I shot him anyways and it ended up being a bad guy. But I get shit on anyways. And my medics are way off in no man's land. Just doing their own thing. And right here, I'm pretty sure this is it. Where you're going to see four, I think th three bots sitting here just hanging out doing nothing. And then you wonder why your objectives aren't. Yeah, look at this. One, two, three people chilling there. I buff them just for the hell of it. Just to get a little EXP because they ain't doing me a damn bit of good anyways. And fuck them. That's just, that's all I can say. You have to do the objective yourself. Don't wait on a bot. It doesn't matter if it shows ten, you know, soldiers that need to blow this thing up. They're not gonna do it. The only thing that they may do is put a charge on, but then they don't defend it worth a crap. And right here, I was just gonna run in and snag that thing and take off running like a bat out of hell. But I ran face first into that mess and just started firing. And once you start firing, it just attracts them like flies on shit. They're not going to let you go. They're not going to let you do their thing. So I come my back up. I start clearing this area out again. Try to get just enough to get in there. And I see my chance right here. I said, screw it. I run in, grab it, and take off like a bat out of hell. I do not know how I did not get killed there. But I took off. And your best bet is if you have this stairway open, Go straight back for the stairway. Don't take a right here because they have a quick access to you right there. You could get cut off very easily. And once you drop this thing, it could be game over. I've had I've failed this mission dozens of times simply due to that. I got caught and then I could just never get back no matter what I did. But once you're there, you're home free. Game over. End of mission. Two for one special this weekend, guys. I'm actually hoping to get another video up later tonight of that challenge, depending on how well it goes. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a great weekend. Again, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Have a great day. Peace.